Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. It's really weird, the timing on these. Sometimes they happen immediately, and sometimes they happen a couple weeks later. You know, it's it's crazy. It is. I, you know, I don't, I don't understand the timing. Only the universe does. But I know that I, I had something happen that hap that I did a reading on a week ago. So, very odd. Timing is fluid. So, anyway, let's see what comes up. What do we have for around the 16th? I had a hard time picking a deck today. Went back to my favorite. This is my favorite deck. So, I, I mean, I, I looked at all my decks for a good five minutes. So, what do we have for the 16th or thereabouts? Full reversed. Four of Swords reversed. The world. Interesting. Interesting. So the fool in the world, we get the first card in the deck and the last card in the deck. So we have a we have a new beginning here. But we have some foolish behavior that leads to the new beginning. The fool in reverse is absolutely foolish behavior. Okay. Somebody makes a reckless move. Okay. Uh unprepared this is stupid this is somebody that is stupid makes a stupid move uh foolish four of swords reversed is exhausted fed up slow down and this could be moving somebody may need to slow down okay maybe they needed to just relax and they can't relax they're acting impulsively the world is a major completion okay this is Freedom, success, uh, maybe even some public recognition. This is a lesson being learned the hard way, okay, with the fool reversed. We have somebody that takes a risk. They do something foolish without thinking. They fall. Um, they get themselves into trouble or something like that. Uh, maybe they're forced to slow down or whatever, but this is the ending. It's the end of a, a cycle. So somebody's foolish behavior causes, you know, perhaps a completion in their life. There could be a change in residence with these two cards. A need to retreat, a need to uh, go within. Somebody needs to, they need a time out because they're acting stupid. And for those of you that are sensitive, you know, this is real words. This is real life. King of Wands reverse could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is unreasonable, male or female that does move too fast, that does something without thinking, that acts impulsively. So this is impulsive action. Unreasonable. Needs a time out. Somebody needs to needs a time out. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Magician. So this is a yes card. Action will bring results. So there's going, somebody is going to see the results of their actions. These results are going to be life changing. Okay, this is a life changing um, manifestation. Uh, this death card reverse could be disaster. It absolutely could be. Okay, this could be an accident. It could be an incident. Uh, a destruction, okay, um, near-death experience even. Somebody has uh, created uh, 
an ending. They have created an ending. They have con created a completion in their life. And this completion has been created because of reckless behavior. So there is some sort of, uh, well, these two are both endings. Okay, they are. They're both endings. Now, this is the death of an idea or the death of a person. Both these cards. So, um, could be mental, could be physical. We have an, we have an individual that... <clears throat> is going through some sort of, well, or needs to go through a transformation. They need a change. This person needs a change. And I feel like the only way that they're going to get the change is to fall, is to experience this fall, is to experience this uh, lesson. This is a lesson. So somebody is about to learn a life lesson. They are. And, and they're about to see the results of their actions. Anyhow... Um, ooh, boy, they're falling all over. We have the Ten of Swords, the Hermit, one has hit the floor. I haven't looked at it. I'm not going to look at it till I get it up here. It fell over this way. Ooh, Three of Swords reversed. So, definitely a timeout is needed. Rehab, uh, retreat, a need to heal, a need to go within, a need to re-identify. Somebody needs to learn a lesson. They're going to learn it. Lesson is about to be learned here. This is a painful lesson with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Okay? It is definitely painful. Uh, this is, this is uh, something not working out with the Ten of Swords reverse. This is the worst has happened. It absolutely could be a death experience. Death, death, death. Four of Swords is a card of death. I don't care what anybody says. So this is like a near death experience where somebody nearly dies and it changes everything. Or, you know, hey, the worst could happen. With the Ten of Swords reverse. This is chronic health problems right here and right here. So we have somebody here that has chronic health problems. Now, you know, when you get this this uh, Ten of Swords, somebody is, it's like you've made your bed. Now you got to lie in it. You have to lie in it. So somebody may be sent into isolation. They may be sent to rehab. They may sent to be sent to a retreat or... You know, whatever it is, this has been a very painful situation where there's been a lot of suffering and it's time. It's time to leave the pain behind. It's, this is about focusing on the future. This is about leaving the past behind. This is about leaving the pain behind. Somebody has been in a painful situation. I think they've been avoiding change and that they're about to experience change uh, because they're going to do something foolish that creates their... A new life okay that's what's gonna happen here it's gonna create their new life they're creating it without even knowing it by their actions okay um, this there's this there's, there's this is consequences somebody's gonna be paying receiving some consequences I believe anyhow this ten of swords reversed is um, this may or may not survive somebody may or may not survive now, the Hermit reversed is, is it's, you know, uh, some we could have somebody here that comes out of hiding or they go into hiding. This is leaving the pain behind, dealing with the pain, healing, needing to heal. Somebody need and this is needing to heal as well. We have somebody here that is going to need a lot of time to heal. Alone. This is very much alone. This is on the path to recovery. The Three of Swords reversed. So somebody is... It, when, when all this is said and done, we have an individual that is going to be on the path to recovery. But getting on that path to recovery is going to be uh, difficult. It's going to be difficult. I feel as though... Uh, this is like a, this is like, uh, 
can't get up. Can't get up. Somebody may fall and they can't get up. I think we have a commercial about that. You know, because this is a fall. It is a fall. Um, somebody makes a poor judgment call. They they take a leap of faith or they they don't look where they're going. Or they don't see where they're going or there's something going on here. Um, they fall and they can't get up. They can't get up. They can't move. This is very, very, very painful. It is very painful. We have we have an individual that needs some sort of enlightenment. They do need enlightenment. This person is egotistical. We could even this person may be angry with the King of Wands reverse. They may be angry, and that's what what you know. They don't think before they act. They do something, and you know they fall. They fall flat on their face, and they get hurt. I feel like somebody's gonna get hurt. This is like you asked for it. This is as above, so below. You asked for it. You created this. You created this. So somebody is creating a new life. They are. They've been resisting change. But change is definitely coming, whether they like it or not. They will be going through a period of re-identification. So that's what we got here. Um, this is leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery. Um, but this Ten of Swords reverse, that could be may or may not survive. Somebody may or may, may or may not survive. There's recovery problems here. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a difficult path. I feel like we have an individual that is is going to learn a very very hard lesson. This person is unreasonable. This is this is a person. This person right here. This is it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be. Okay, it could be a Virgo here. We have Scorpio here. We have Gemini here. We have Aries up there. Anyhow, this is somebody that is this is an energy male or female, that of, of a person, and this is a person that is unrealistic, unreasonable, impulsive, uh, self-righteous, doesn't listen to anybody. This is a know-it-all. And this person, you know, thinks that they don't have to listen to anybody. They don't, they don't have to. They're, they're, they're so intelligent. They're so smart. You know, I can get away with it, whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. There is, there is, uh, whoever this person is, this is a completion, this is a completion, this is a pre completion. There is a completion here. And you have to shed the old to bring in the new. So we do have somebody here that is about to learn a very difficult life lesson. It's like they asked for healing or something like that but they weren't willing to do anything to get it this is this is this is a reckless behavior it really is foolish behavior is going to lead to a fall this is a fall this is a fall This is a major completion. This is a universe card. The universe is going to is going to cause this person. And the universe works in mysterious ways. This is an ending. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a phase. Somebody has been resisting change. And I know that I'm repeating myself, but it is what it is. And you know, don't repeat yourself. I don't want to hear it. I feel like this, there, there is some sort of uh, resistance to change. This is a big resistance to change.
something could happen at night. Something could happen at night. It's like somebody comes up upon, this is like somebody comes up with their lights. They shine their lights. I just happen to be focused on this light. They shine their light on a situation where it isn't good. Five of Pentacles reversed. This is the end of difficulty. It really is. Somebody has been suffering greatly. They have been suffering greatly. Very, very alone. Needing to re-identify, but choosing not to. This is, this is uh, light at the end of the tunnel. And we got it here too. So, so there's light here. There is some sort of light that is light. Okay. And the, and the five of pentacles could be a major loss. But this major loss leads to a turning point. We do have a turning point here. We do. This person may have been begging for help and they weren't getting help. You know, this person is begging. They may have been begging in a way that was unrecognizable. Maybe they were ignored. Now they're reacting out of anger. Nobody's listening. They're not listening. This is like a disaster. I feel like it's a disaster ahead. I think we talked about this the other day. High Priestess, lack of awareness. High Priestess reversed. There is something that is about to be revealed. Somebody was ignoring. They were ignoring the signs. Somebody ignored the signs. And and there could be now. I mean, this is signs. But it is if you. This is signs being ignored. This is like the death reverse, a near death experience, or a death experience. Somebody ignored the signs, and now, you know, we got a. Disaster on our hands. This is definitely a disaster. One more card. There is some sort of realization, but I think it's too late. It feels like it's too late. It does. I, I don't know why I feel like it's too late. Somebody isn't very wise. They may think they're wise, but they're not. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is somebody that is very loving, very warm, very tender. That may this person may come along. This is somebody that is very um this could be a nurse that may come along, may come along the way. She may this person may be coming along to help to help or something like that. They may they may come along the scene. This person is coming into the picture at the very end. At the very end. This person comes in at the end. This is somebody that has a really big heart. That is very um, caring and loving. This person is going to be taking care of somebody. They're coming to help. The Five of Pentacles is reversed and beneath it. This person is coming to help. This could be a nurse or a counselor. I think I already said that. A therapist even. Same thing.
could be a healer. This could be a healer. Could be a, a, somebody that is intuitive. There's lack of awareness here, though. We have somebody here that is totally unaware of, you know, an upcoming. Uh, feels like a disaster. I know one more card. I do that all the time. Six of Pentacles reverse. That's a loss. That is a loss. Five of Pentacles is as well in reverse. This is not seeking professional advice. We have an individual here that does something foolish. They don't seek professional advice. They don't listen to anybody's advice. That this is this is um, an abuse of power, one sidedness. Somebody could be taken away. Something could be taken. Something could be taken away. Somebody's about to uh, get what they deserve. There's an imbalance here. But we do have a new beginning. You know, something is ending. I think it's ending... Uh, it's like you asked for it. The magician is you at. You manifested this. You manifested this completion. Somebody has manifested it and they didn't want to do it. They, they were acting foolishly. You know, they wanted a change, but they didn't want to take action to make the change. So this is a universe card. The universe steps in and causes the change because of somebody's actions. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who does something foolish, and this is a this is a loss. This is this is uh, I mean, six of Pentacles reverse is is uh, getting fired, becoming unemployed, um, losing stability. Stability. You know, this is some sort of injustice here. It's not fair. It's not fair. So this, something is going to happen, and somebody may say, "This isn't fair. This isn't fair." And it, but it, but the thing is, somebody made their bed. Now they need to lie on it. You know, they need to lie on their own bed. They, it's like and they may not be able to get out of bed for a while. It feels like I, I'm not sure what is happening, but it's like you can't get up. Something could happen where you can't get up. You know, you got you, you are forced to re-identify. So there is going to be a forced re-identification here. This person is the King of Wands in reverse is somebody, and it's a male or a female. This is somebody that is uh, very forceful. I think we already, we already talked about it. We don't need to go into it again. Uh, definitely unreasonable. Very unreasonable. Corrupt. doesn't listen really 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 doesn't listen doesn't listen to anybody this person is heading for a fall and they're gonna I feel like there's consequences may have something to do with drinking we have drinking here and drinking here it doesn't have to be but it could Somebody is going to be going down a path. They're going to be going down a path and it's like they crash, you know, with that ten of swords, whether they collapse or something like that. And this, this is a path as well. We have a path here. It's like somebody is going down a path. It's like they stumble or they make a mistake. They do something foolish. Then some sort of help arrives. Maybe they, they end up in the hospital and they take a long time to heal if they survive. Either way, this is a major ending. It's a completion of a cycle. It's beginning a new life. So anyway, that is what I got. So right around the 16th, we have a we do have a new beginning here, but it, it comes after a fall. The full reverse is a fall, and that's the first card out. That is somebody falling. 
Good luck.